so hello everyone today i'm going to show you a setting or you can call that thing a hidden files that uh, that is taking your space your hard drive space so if i show you like you can see my local drive c is like 31 gb uh, remaining free and it is like 220 gb there is a specific file and folder the cache files of unreal engine that is collecting on that folder and it is just consuming your space of your local drive and i will highly recommend you to uh, just go to that folder and just remove that file because it doesn't do anything it will just uh, save your cache files your log files and everything so it's better to remove that thing to free up some space of your local drive C. so what you have to do first you have to go to your local drive c and make sure that your hidden files are like show the hidden files click on this apply okay so what it does like it will be just show your all hidden files everything and then what you have to do you have to go to your user section and then you have to click on your name your pc name and then you will get something like this and what you have to do you have to go to your app data section and then you have to go to local and after that what you have to do you have to go uh, down and you will see something called unreal engine and you will see uh, lots of versions of unreal engine for me it is like 5.3 version and before deleting the files i want to show you like my hard disk space so if you see my local drive c is like 31 gb free and now i will just remove the file and you will see there will be a lot of difference i can easily free up like 30 gb to 40 gb it probably depend on your pc like how how many days you didn't remove these files like it depends on that thing okay if, if this is your first time deleting these files so probably it will be like 100 gb or more than that for me i i deleted these things uh like frequently so it was not that much high but for you it may be like 100 200 gb so i will go to like saved folder so you can see my saved folder is like if i show you the properties you can see it's 56 gb okay so you have to open this thing and then you will see something like this okay you don't need to change anything from this one but the folder that you want to delete is like this log one this crashes one and this crash report okay so the crashes the log one is containing 30.6 gb of space if i show you the property you can see 30.6 gb okay so it doesn't contain any useful data it just uh contain your log files and it doesn't affect your project i will highly recommend you to remove these things and yeah what you have to do you have to just remove this thing i will just remove this thing and there is a crashes folder okay and if i just show you the properties then you can see it is 20.8 gb like total 50 gb of space is taken by these two folders okay so this is all the crashes that you are having in your computer like on your unreal engine not computer and it just saved your file for as a form of backup so you can just remove this thing it doesn't be helpful for you i think and you can just remove this thing and it will not affect your project okay and or anything okay so these two folders you can remove and the third one i would say it is not compulsory because it is not that much high 52 bytes uh, don't remove this thing major um, like major of your storage is consumed by these two folders and the other will just are like that you don't need to change anything okay so if i just uh, go to this pc and you can see i just free up like 50 gb and it is now 82 point uh 8 gb free up space okay so yeah i just want to make this tutorial uh because so many people don't know there is this type of hidden folders in unreal engine 5 that contain this much amount of storage and you can't see that type of files in this area okay because it is not like displayed in this area okay so that's the main problem uh if you try to find out the files from this area you you will you will never find that file okay so that's the hidden folder or hidden files of unreal engine 5 that you should definitely remove and yeah that's it for this tutorial thank you for watching